It was a horrifying scene for drivers. Just before the Route 8 afternoon rush, a woman was hit by a pickup, leading to several other minor crashes. I saw the um, cars spun out and then it almost caused another accident. And there's a girl laying, she's not moving. The victim, now identified as Tanya Johnson, a Canton firefighter for 18 years. She also owned a company that helped the disabled and leaves behind three children. Everybody loves my mom, she's a caring person. She, she's successful. My mom dedicated her life to helping people, and she did that around the clock. She was a very strong person. I know that. She, was, she had a strong mind. Tanya's husband of one week didn't want his face shown, but told me he had a disagreement with Tanya about whether to get off Route 8, and he pulled off the side of the highway. We were holding hands, and I was looking over to the left, and she just opened the door. She just got out of the car and just started walking. I have no clue, no idea. She wasn't mad. She wasn't crying. Randy says he was stunned when Tanya walked across three lanes of Route 8 South, jumped over the barrier, and was hit and killed by a vehicle on 8 North. I love my wife, and I still love my wife. and I am devastated about the situation because nothing like this has ever happened to, my, happened to me in my life. Tanya's family is haunted by the question, why? but are convinced this was not a suicide. Never in a million years would this woman take her life. This is definitely not something in my sister's character. Everyone standing here can vouch for that.